Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm doing a little bit different kind of a video. I've actually done this video in the past, and I've had a couple people request me to do it. And this is going to be my favorite perfumes from each, like, celebrity in my collection. But there is some stuff I didn't pull from, like, certain collections I didn't pull from, either only having one of them, or not liking either fragrance that that celebrity puts out, and I just have the fragrances to have for collection purposes or whatever. So, this is going to be my favorite perfumes from every collection that are actually wearable for me, um, and ones that I will actually wear versus some of them, like, I just don't even, like, ever gravitate toward that collection, um, or they literally just have one and I don't like that one enough to have it as a favorite of that collection, if that makes sense, whatever. Um, I've warned you now, this is going to be a very long video, and these aren't in any particular order, these aren't like top whatever. Um, I will be doing a collection video within the next month, I'm not quite sure when, but there will be a collection video coming up soon, so stay tuned to that, and if you guys would like to see like um, I had talked to one of my friends about doing like a top 25 um, favorite perfumes of all time that I actually have. I can definitely do that. Um, I just want to know what you guys think. So, let's dive into this. Like I said, this isn't in any particular order besides the very first fragrance which I'm going to talk about. Which is probably my holy grail fragrance. Um, oh, you guys literally don't even know the pile that's sitting right here. So... Favorite, favorite, favorite is Menagerie Exotic by Nicki Minaj. I have literally used this to the point of, like, we're damn near close to the very bottom of this perfume. This is, like, my favorite scent. I literally use this so much. I had to stop using it just so I wouldn't use it more. And I do have, um, including this bottle, I have seven bottles of this. But, um... Five of them I don't ever want to touch just in case, like, this fragrance is never able to be found again. Um, and I actually did just recently buy another bottle so that when this one is completely empty, I have another one I can go to. So, there's that one. Manatee Exotic. Favorite. I don't even know how to do this the right way. We'll just start here. Favorite, Je Sarah Jessica Parker is SJP NYC. Now, this is just what I, out of what I have, um... I know Sarah Jessica Parker has a shit ton of fragrances, and I don't have very many of them. Um, I just have this and Lovely. So, um, I do really, really like this one, but I'm pretty sure the only one I would possibly like more than this would be um, SJP NYC EDP. Um, that's a whole lot of acronyms, but I really, really do like this one. Next is my favorite Vince Camuto, which is Capri. So, this is just a very, like, pretty, fresh... Um, floral, slightly fruity scent. It isn't very fruity at all, um, but it's very more, much more along the fresh floral sides. Favorite Ralph Lauren is Tender Romance. Um, I had originally picked up. God, this smells so good. I originally picked up um, Midnight Romance, and then I actually went and revisited Tender Romance because I did like Tender Romance when I smelled it. I just thought I liked Midnight Romance more, and then I kept thinking about Tender Romance, so I went back and picked up Tender Romance. Um, favorite philosophy is Falling in Love. I love, love, love Falling in Love. It smells so good. It's very fruity. It's got blackberry in it. It's just a very, very, very beautiful scent. Favorite, oh lord, this is going to be a mess. I can tell you right now. Favorite Rihanna is Riri. So, this was actually really, really hard between Riri and Rogue and Rogue Love and Nude. I love a lot of Rihanna's fragrances, but I think my favorite would probably be Riri. Just because I really like the fruitiness to it, but I like the booziness of the rum that's underneath it. And this fragrance is unique in its own way, but still safe, which I really, really like. Favorite Cheryl Cole fragrance is Stormflower. I love this one. 
It does smell very similar to Paris Hilton's Heiress, which isn't my favorite Paris Hilton, I will tell you right now. Um, but I really do like this. It's just very, very crisp, very floral with a slight fruitiness to it. We're going to move my big fuzzy pillow out of the way. Um, favorite Aqualina is Pink Sugar. This is OG classic. So good. Just a very sweet, cotton candy, sugary scent. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this smells like. If you don't know what this smells like, go pick it up and smell it. If you like sweet scents, you will love the scent. Um, favorite um, Terry Moon Glare fragrance is Angel Osari. Um, I probably butchered his name and the name of this fragrance. I did actually just pick up um, Angel Muse today. Well, I like Angel Muse. I still don't think beats Osari. It's just the classic, like, sweetness of this fragrance, but it's also adult, which I really like. And it's just, it's a very, very, very pretty fragrance. I'm going to say that about every single one of these. Favorite um, Jennifer Anderson is Jennifer Anderson J. This is a very beachy vanilla fragrance. Um, also has that bourbon vanilla in it. So it's another kind of boozy vanilla scent. I love, love, love this one. I fell in love with that one. One of the first times I ever smelled it. Favorite Snooky fragrance is Snooky Love. This is a slightly powdery floral fragrance. It's not really powdery. It's got a lot of fruit in it, but also a lot of floral. More floral than fruit. But it's just creamy. I guess creamy is more word I want to use than powdery. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I love, love, love this one. It is definitely one of my favorite perfumes. Favorite Adidas is, um, I think this is Born Original. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. I have the original, like, Adidas original, which is the Jeremy Scott version. I'll tell you right now, I hate that fragrance. It smells terrible. But this is another one of those, like, super, like, fruity, clean, crisp scents, which I love. So definitely um, Adidas Born Original for her. Favorite Mariah Carey is That Chick. I'm very surprised that this fragrance only ever came out in this size. Um, this is just another one of those clean, crisp, fruity florals. Um, love, love, love this one. It was actually a toss-up between this and Dreams, because I do really like Dreams. But I just love this one. Um, I don't wear it very much. Like, I put a little bit of a dent in it. But I don't wear it very much just because this is harder to find and a little bit more on the expensive side when you do find it. So I definitely don't want to use it up before I'm able to get a backup. A favorite Pitbull fragrance is Pitbull Miami Woman. Another toss-up, I really do like his original fragrance, but I like the tropical vibes of this. This room's going to smell like a French whore when I leave here. Um, I like the crisp tropical vibes of this one versus the original one, but they're both very, very good in their own ways. Favorite Justin Bieber perfume is Justin Bieber's Next Girlfriend. I don't know what went wrong with the first girlfriend, but he got it right on this girlfriend because literally, heaven. This kind of has a similarity to, um, Escada's, um, Taz Sunset, but this is more fruity and more, um, uh, I feel like Taz Sunset's a little bit more elegant, and this is more fruity. I love, love, love this perfume. I don't know why I stopped wearing it, but it's so good. Um, favorite Vera Wang perfume is the newly released, um, Princess Revolution. This has a very strong sour cherry note to it, which I love cherry fragrances. So I definitely do really, really like this one. Um, favorite Paris Hilton is Gold Rush. Um, her two, two of my favorite fragrances from her is Gold Rush and Passport Paris. I use Passport Paris a lot to, um layer and I don't know why this is like this one's so pretty too it's just vanilla but it's an elegant vanilla oh, it's so pretty I love 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 this one literally I put that much in it since I've had it and that's also wearing other fragrances and I stopped wearing this for a little bit so I would wouldn't get sick of it so fast um Favorite Kimberly Wyatt perfume is the only one I believe that she has out, and that is K-Dance. This is what I like to call the aquatic version of Viva La Juicy. It has very much of a Viva La Juicy note to it, 
but it also has slightly of aquatic crispness to it, which I love, love, love that. Um, favorite Escada perfume is Escada's Cherry in the Air. So, this is seriously like straight up cherries. Sour cherries, beautiful. As you can see, I only have this much left of it. And I do need to buy another bottle of this. Um, me and my husband both love it. We've used it so much that the lid is broken off of like the little thingy. Literally, I need to get another backup of this just to have because I love this fragrance so much. Um, favorite Harjuka lover is Wicked G. This is such a weird fragrance, but I love it because it's weird. It's so good though. It's sour and like bitter and I love it. Like it's not bitter because it's gone bad or anything. Like just the way this fragrance was designed was to be sour and bitter and I love that about this. Favorite flower, which is the Drew Barrymore, is um, Cherish. This is got a slightly vanilla undertone but it is still very floral. All the flower fragrances are very floral. So I do like this one out of all of them. But none of hers have really wowed me. This is just the most, like, wearable out of hers in, my fav in her collection. My favorite Dolce & Gabbana perfume is this is the only one I actually have. And this is Dolce & Gabbana number no. 3 La Impentrice. This is super fruity. It's got notes of, like, watermelon. And I think there's cherry in this. It's just so good. Super fruity. Um, not your typical Dolce & Gabbana fragrance. But, um, it is... A little bit more mature. Um, it's not mature at all. Like I don't want to say this is like grandma mature at all. Because it's not. But this is more mature. Take on a fruity floral. I would say. And I love that about this. Favorite Taylor Swift perfume. And it's actually like done fucked up. Is Wonderstruck. So when this first came out. I wore so much of this fragrance. And it's got a good dent in it too. Um, I went through like two pins of this. And. God count, mount, count, can't can't count how many samples. This is just the OG. It's the original. I love this one. I love almost all the Taylor fragrances. I have issues with two of them, but it was literally between this and Made of Starlight, and I, this one just wins because I love it. Um, oh lord, I'm kicking things around. Christian Siriano. I got this fragrance when it came out, literally for the like. The fact that he designed the Taylor Swift Wonderstruck dress. And this came out and it's so pretty. It's got chocolate in it. And it's just... I love this fragrance. It's very, very good fragrance. And the bottle is gorgeous. Um, Favorite Britney Spears. This was really hard. But I chose Island Fantasy. Because my one ounce. Which is right here. I've literally used like half of it. Um... I put kind of a dent into this one. Not very much. Um, but I really like that one. I really like Private Show. And I really like the original. Um, but that just happens to be the one that I gravitate towards the most. And I really like Circus Fantasy. So, really hard for me to pick a favorite Britney. I chose Island Fantasy out of all of them. Favorite Love to Love fragrance. So this was done by Cody. And was re released originally exclusively to Walmart. And then it got released a couple other places. This is Bluebell and Freesia. Or Blueberry and White Tea. Blueberry and White Tea. Um, it's just a pretty easy classic floral fragrance. Which I love. But it's not like grandma floral. It's on that crisp floral side. Which I really really like. And I'm throwing this down apparently. Um, favorite Katy Perry. Now this one I will tell you was so hard. Because I love three of her fragrances. But I chose Spring Rain. Because this is another classic crisp floral fragrance. And it's just so, so, so pretty. I love, love, love this one. I've almost gone through an entire one ounce of this fragrance. And I just love Spring Rain. Um, favorite um, Victoria's Secret perfume is uh, Winter Bombshell. This... Is it's very simple. All the Victoria's Secret perfumes only have three notes, and this is just so 
Christmassy, but it's not like spicy. It's just a very easy, crisp, another floral fragrance. And it's just that I love the Christmas to this, but it has another quality to it, which makes it very wintry. Um, we're getting down to like the where I don't know where to go. Favorite YSL perfume is Mon Paris. This is such a unique, but not unique, but I did a review of this recently. Go check it out if you want to. This is such a different fragrance, but it's also safe, which I really, really love about this. But it is very much a YSL take on a fruity floral. Um, favorite Beyonce is Beyonce's Heat Wild Orchid. Although this doesn't have the best lasting power, and it's really weird that I like this because it does have coconut in it. I just love this one because of the fruitiness to it. And it's one of the only fragrances I like that has a stronger coconut vibe to it. And it's just the way that it's mixed with everything else. My favorite, um, eight, the, why can't I think of what this is called right now? Fergie. Wow. Literally, like, the moment I looked at the bottle, I could figure out what it was before I even read it. Outspoken Intense. This is another fragrance that has a very strong berry note to it. And it's contrary to the belief when I first saw this, I thought it was going to be super spicy. And, like, I mean, the silver bottle made me think it was going to be spicy. And with it being called Intense, I thought that. But it's definitely just a very, like, strong berries scent. Um, my favorite Marc Jacobs is Marc Jacobs Hot Pink Daisy. This smells like those little white flowers that you can get in your yard during these, like, the spring and strawberries. Which are both notes that are in the original. Except for, um, they're just stronger in this one. And I love that about this one. My favorite... Viva La Juicy is Viva La Juicy La Fleur. Love this fragrance. This fragrance has similarities to um, Circus Fantasy and some other stuff. Like They're not the same, but they have similarities. I love this fragrance. Um, this fragrance I wear a lot before I go to bed. And I had another size of this. I don't remember what happened to it. But I went through that and I've already put a dent into this one. So... Um, my favorite Selena Gomez is the OG Selena Gomez. I've gone through an entire one ounce of this fragrance and I've already put a good amount of dent into this one. Nothing can beat this fragrance and I just threw off on the little lips because I know one's broken on here. It's so good. Nothing can beat this fragrance. Like, I mean, not like, it's not my favorite fragrance and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just this fragrance is so good and so, like, Fruity and tropical and chocolate and just amazing. Um, my favorite Nicole Richie is No Rules. Now this was a little harder to do. Because I'm not really a huge fan of either one of the Nicole Richie perfumes. But this one is the one I tend to wear more if I'm going to wear it. Um, not going to lie, I haven't really wore this fragrance very much. Um, favorite DKNY is DKNY Be Delicious. This is a classic apple... Just very crisp. It's been over. Why doesn't it want to... My apple doesn't want to spray, apparently. Anyway. It's just a very cl classic green apple fragrance. So good. And for some reason, it doesn't want to spray the right way. And I'll figure that out later. Carmen Electra. This is the only perfume that she has out like publicly. I know she has one through like, LR perfumes that came out years ago. But this is her, like, debut fragrance. Um, has very similar, um, notes to Viva La Juicy, which I love the original Viva La Juicy, but Viva La Juicy's done some other fragrances that I love more. And this is just a very good take on the Viva La Juicy build-up for a fragrance, I guess. My favorite Sofia Vengara perfume is Sofia Vengara Tempting. This came out this year, and it's just... An elegant floral. It's got that seductive quality to it, which I love. But it's not old lady-esque or anything like that. Very, very beautiful. And I love the way this fragrance develops. Um, my favorite Avril Lavigne perfume is Black Star. Another very fruity, crisp fragrance, which I love. Favorite um, Bethany Moda fragrance is Bethany Noel. 
This was another one that was hard to choose between because they're both very, very good. But this is a little, um, a little bit better than the other one in my opinion. Favorite, um, Kim Kardashian is True Reflection. So, this is another one of those, like, seductive florals with the vanilla base, and I do like that about this. Um, favorite, um, Christina Aguilera is Christina Aguilera by Night. I'm trying to, like, brush these now. Favorite J-Lo is Wild Glow. This is another tropical floral fragrance, or fruity fragrance. Very, very, very fruity, very, very tropical. Love this fragrance for that. Favorite Shakira is Paradise Elixir. This fragrance has a very different quality to it that not a lot of fragrances have. It's very crisp and, like, paradise-y. And I, this is very much what I think paradise would smell like, and that's what I like about this. Um, favorite Jordan Sparks is Because of You. Another kind of syrupy, fruity floral. Favorite, um, Madonna is Truth or Dare Naked. Another kind of vanilla-y type fragrance. Um, favorite Gaga is Eau de Gaga. Um, another one, I'm not a super big fan of either one of her fragrances. Not a fan of fa uh, Fame, only because it goes super powdery on me. And I know Fame is supposed to smell different on everyone. I've smelled it on some people and loved it. On me, it's not, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, favorite Jessica Simpson is Fancy Love. This is very similar to Taylor Swift's Taylor. Very similar to Outspoken Party by Fergie. Very similar to Burberry, the original Burberry. Um, just a very kind of apricot floral fragrance um, and slightly powdery. Favorite um, little mix is Gold Magic. I do know that uh, Wishmaker just recently came out. I don't have that. Um, I would love to get it, and hopefully we'll get it. Um, but I love this one. It reminds me of a magazine. I don't know why, but I love that about this. Um, my favorite um, Ed Hardy is Villain. This has similarities to um, Fuel of Juicy Lafleur. It's very fruity, tropical, floral, kind of all in the same mix. Um, Favorite, Rue 21, and I just recently started getting the Rue 21 perfumes. This is Pink Ice. Fun fact, I used to wear this perfume, like, all the time through high school. I went through, like, two bottles of this during high school. And this is just very, like, slightly fruity, slightly floral. Kind of the perfect balance of the two, in my opinion. My favorite, One Direction, is That Moment. And I love this one. Very crisp, clean, cucumber and apple fragrance, and that's what I like about this one. And my current favorite that I've been wearing the most recently is Ariana Grande's Sweet Like Candy. As you guys know, I just recently did a review of this. And this is just, I love the way that this blends and the way that it is. I've actually been blending this with um, Paris Hilton's Gold Rush. And they seem to blend really, really well. And I do like that about these two. So, there you guys go. There is my favorite from every or from each collection. If you guys would like to see a top 25 or so fragrances, let me know. I can definitely do my best to uh, do that for you guys. I had to put all these back now because this is going to be a fun workout to do it. It was a fun workout to get them out. So, um, definitely let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys, you know, any of these are your favorites, favorites let me know. Let me know what your favorite is from um, some of the people I mentioned here. Um... Keep up with me. I will be doing, like I said, a collection video. Excuse me, got the hiccups relatively soon. As well as I would like to do that top 25 for you guys. But if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Slash Perfume. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks. Oh my god, I cannot talk. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.